Hello, my name is Francesco Bartolotta on Instagram Murder Grappler and today I would like to show the tripod sweep. This sweep is very efficient and is very simple to hit and most of the times it catches people off guard. And it is a sweep that has helped me in many competitions and against some high level opponents. So my partner is gonna be on his feet. And usually I hit this technique from De La Hiva. Now usually what happens is that I'm trying to gain set position because I want to attack the legs and I want to get single legs for the guard. But usually what happens, my opponent will not allow me to get my leg inside. It will have a strong connection between his elbow and his knee and that doesn't allow me to go in front of his bicep. So what I do, I pummel my leg high in front of his shoulder to push a little bit up. And what I want for a tripod to work is that I want to block two legs and usually one is with the hand and the other leg with the foot and I want the third point of contact on the hip to push. If I don't block both legs and I just push, he can step back not to fall. So we, what we essentially have to do, we have to push him away with our leg as we block the legs. So we're gonna have a grip on the, on the ankle and one foot, a strong hook behind the other ankle. Don't go higher behind the knee because usually they can pull the leg out or it makes it harder to push somebody. Once at the end of the lever, it will feel incredibly much lighter. Now, it is very important that when you have this grip here, you connect it to your buttock, so you create a wedge with your body. Otherwise, as I push, you can kick this leg out and you still fail. Instead, if you have a connection between your buttock or your hip, your, this ankle and your head, you create a strong wedge where you kind of stick your body to the whole leg, and if he tries to kick, it's much harder. So I'm in the La Hiva. I get my foot in front of his shoulder, push a little bit up, then I go in front of his hip and behind his ankle and connect. Then we push. And as we push and he falls on the floor, we keep the ankle. And that's to stop him from coming back on top. The rule is, if you can pull his leg higher than his head, he cannot stand up. So from here, what you need to do to do a technical stand up, and we actually do a technical forward stand up, we have to retract both legs behind us, like so. And one hand is on the floor, the other hand is always keeping the, leg, the ankle. So as I stand up, goes on the floor, and he tries to stand up now, his leg is higher than his head, and he cannot stand up. Try to stand up. So it's very important that you don't leave their grip until you actually finish the technique. So it's going to look like this. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned and if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel, more to come.